Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ken's Show and Tell. Today is the beginning of video number three uh, for the 1972, actually registered 73, Mercedes Benz 280 SE 4.5 chassis W108. And today's a big day because I have received from Time Valve Incorporated in Florida custom made entire uh, exhaust system made out of stainless steel. I'm going to be opening this up to, to see what it's about and then we're going to uh, take out the old system, <clears throat> put in the new, and but before we put in the new I'm going to check out the drive line and we'll see where we can go from there. All right she's up in the air and here's the exhaust system and I have the hangers Donuts, don't know. Um, I haven't opened up the package yet, but I will. But I wanted to get a good look at the system we're getting ready to replace. I wanted to go ahead and replace the, the muffler as well as the resonator. Of course, you can see the resonator is rusted in two here. Someone had a wire around here to uh, try to plug up these holes and that's long since gone probably holding a piece of metal <clears throat> and then while i have this exhaust system down i'm going to be cleaning the constant velocity joint boot here and making sure that it's nice and supple and not cracked it feels nice here and check make sure that the um, those screws that hold the clamps aren't good and tight I was also going to look at this and this this horizontal spring, these uh, rubber boots that it sits in, and they're there uh, to pretty much provide lift and distance, but you know between the the, the that joint and the stationary differential, as well as to dampen any sort of metal to metal contact and noise. I have no ride height issues on this car, uh, so I'll probably leave that alone and I can probably clean that, check out that boot without removing that. So let's move on further here. Another thing I want to do uh, while I have the exhaust system out is I want to check the condition of the driveline. I have no indications that the driveline has any problems. There's no vibrations or anything like that. But I want to look at it really good. I kind of like this. This looks kind of, I don't know in my in my kit if, if there's going to be a skid plate here, but I like that. Um, let's hope there is. We'll be placing these pipes. I'll have to put in a new uh, rubber hanger here. And uh, this, hopefully all this will come apart. But the kit's are supposed to have all the appropriate hangers in it. Here's your down pipe on the passenger side bolts into your header and then I'm going to be taking these down pipes off I think they're in my kit as well as the one on this side on the driver's side I have driven this car a few hundred miles since the last video but I haven't driven it much at all simply because of this leaky exhaust system you do get smells in the car from when you're sitting and sitting at a stoplight or something like that, and you're idling, your windows are down, and, and it sounds like an old truck, like a lot of trucks sound that really need an exhaust system. Uh, so this, I want to make that right. Also, with the exhaust system out, I can look at this flex disc a little better and uh, make a determination there, as well as this carrier bearing uh, bushing up in here under this heat plate. Um, so we'll we'll look at that too. So I'm going to unpack our time valve manufactured stainless steel exhaust system and see what we have. Well, I've unpacked the first box. The way they pack things are very, very good. And look, here's the middle section of the exhaust system laid out where it should be. All stainless steel, the muffler and the resonator or OEM Mercedes parts and look at this let me turn it over and look 
it has the skid plate or that plate welded in oh this is wonderful i am pretty happy another aspect of this purchase which i'm very happy about are these exhaust tips here's one unpacked brand new and here it is in the package as it was sent genuine mercedes-benz made in germany well here it is laid out in the proper order of assembly so I did uh, get the down pipes which is good construction looks very well done I put PB blaster on the old down pipe bolts I hope I don't have to put heat to them, but I might have to to get them out. Looks all right. Look at it this way. There you go. Here's the rest of the, here's the hardware that they sent. Proper hangers, clamps, gaskets. And of course you saw the exhaust tips Napa pieces. I do have one little disappointment. See how this has both the correct nuts on there. This one does too. But when you move over here, this one in the box only came with one nut. So I improvised with a nut I had and a washer. And this one in the box both nuts were missing so I revised nut and washer on that I checked the packaging very carefully and those two pieces were those uh, actually three pieces were missing just those nuts but fortunately I have spares around here and and that's no big deal overall this is a very nice looking outfit boy I'm telling you getting those uh, nuts off the bolts and the nuts off the downpipe that was holding well actually holding the downpipe onto the header there's one of the pieces well i tell you what that was a that was difficult but they all came apart here's the other set right up here this is on the dual side well you can see the driver's side of the downpipe has got the bolts out over here which is nice well here's what they look like and so i'm getting ready to clean them up on the wire wheel let's get set up here Come back and do the heads on these. So this is what it looks like before. There, that's an improvement. So you can see, this is an original, this is definitely a replacement. And you can see that it is longer. See the shank difference? So they were, so whoever did this in the past, um, <clears throat> this might be the second exhaust system that's on this car, who knows? Uh, they didn't use the correct um, bolt. They used what they had. Uh, so I'll have to see what I can do about making doing something better than that. But I'm going to go ahead and clean the heads off and clean these nuts up. I probably have a 13 millimeter nut that I can use that's better than this. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. So, this is the speedometer cable. I see that it's 
the sheath is broken. You can see where it goes into the transmission there. Uh, the light up there. Now I'm going to cut a hose and uh, protect that. Um, and then I'm going to cut this pipe right here at this joint. So these two pipes, the, head, the uh, down pipes come out in two separate pieces so I can handle them because they're getting kind of heavy. Now I'll see if I can put the down pipes in and then we'll start disassembling the rest of this system. The tear in the speedometer cable sheath is now repaired and fastened up there a little bit better. Let's go over here and shot at it from here. Okay, that might prevent future problems. Let's turn our attention to cutting this uh, pipe out. Should have cut a little bit further down here. I'll learn. As I go here. Boy, that's in there. Okay. Oh, I see. The hard way, but one's down. I'll learn from that one and see if the others are easy. There's the header coming down on the driver's side. I'll have to clean up as best I could, that best I can, the rust on the inside there to get a nice fit. So let's turn our attention to the other side. Comes out. Okay. Here's the other side. And then uh, go from there. Old side by side with the new. I didn't quite appreciate how heavy this old exhaust system is. But I got it all. Now I just need to clean up where the down pipes connect to the headers. And then uh, check some drive line. One thing I was concerned about was this flex disc. Actually, you know, I had no symptoms or anything from a bad flex disc. And just looking at it, there was no cracks, no fraying. Uh, I'm not going to pull it off. I think it's fine. 
I had a concern up in here beneath this heat shield of this, not the bearing, but I was just wondering about, see when I move this, how that moves in there. And uh, I might study this heat, sh heat shield some more. It's so hard to get off because I do have one one of those Cushing's on order. But then again, you know, I have no symptoms of anything wrong. Looking at the drive shaft some more. All this down here is all right. Get the play up there at the output shaft from the transmission. Yeah, I think I might be ready to install the new exhaust system except i'm waiting on some uh, muffler paste i do want to use that i've read conflicting things about whether or not to use paste but what i've read that seems to be fairly consistent is that if you're putting in a new stainless steel exhaust system paste might be um I just advisable. noticed that these donuts that came off the car, they're genuine Mercedes-Benz parts. That's why they look so good as I was taking them off. I thought for sure that they would uh, be cracking and everything. See if this one right here, you can see it any better. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, all of them are genuine Mercedes-Benz donuts. These over here that came with the kit are not, they're not marked. So I think what I'm going to do with them is use them as spares, put them up, and I'm going to put these original Mercedes back on the car. Unfortunately, the original one that came off the car is broken. Now this one that came in the kit is an official Mercedes-Benz piece. Can you see the logo there, right here? So this, this would definitely be used, but the one down the car uh, was broken. Here's the old pieces that came off. I like the I like this uh, uh, padding here that came off of the original one. I might try to reuse that again. I don't know if I can, but we'll give it a try. So here's everything lined up, ready okay. to go. <clears throat> this is where the this is the driver's side of where the downpipe connects to the header. I've cleaned it up. Looks a lot better now. And we'll turn our attention to the other side. Well, I just drove the 60 mile round trip to Harbor Freight to get something to help me and out. And here with the it is. System. It's an under hoist safety stand. Well, I'm going to assemble it. I tell you what, after uh, messing around with this exhaust and cutting the old one out and it crashing to the floor, um, I thought about it last night and I researched these things and I was able to find this in Harbor Freight um, for about 90 bucks. So now I have one and I just have to assemble it to put all this stuff together with. And I think it will make it easier uh, to um, work on this exhaust system. In fact, in the ad, it talks about how muffler shops like to use this. So I don't think I have to worry about stuff falling on my head. So I'm gonna get to work. So I used my W108 to pick up a, a piece that I needed to help me work on this other W108. Not without tribulation, it is assembled and in place and I'll get to use it should save a lot this is on a ball bearing which is nice see how it works lift things up and you can raise it up and down right here to pull this pin and you have all these holes here for different heights 
two tons this thing's heavy to move around but that's good that's what you want so we'll have to put this thing to use probably the next step is going to be installing the down pipe on the driver's side and the down pipe on the passenger side you can see how the stand helped me put in this new down pipe on the driver's side <clears throat> I let it rest on here so you can spin it up or down make it rest differently if you want and then up here the new down pipe is in its place there it is now I, I don't have it tight I just have it snug so I think what I'm gonna do is put in the other side it's all cleaned up just like that side is I don't think you can see I have to move the light over there um, but I think I'll do that kind of get them to where I can move them but yet they're held in place and I'll start assembling and then come back here and uh, and then just start assembling from the front to the back kind of makes sense to me as to how to do it well my under hoist stand has come in handy and I've got both down pipes installed Got a piece of wood in there separating that one to help installation of the rest of it. Let's go over here and look. This side over here under the passenger was a was a real bear to get to. And here's what it looks like from the front of the car. Looking over back here in the workbench, I've got pieces of the clamp that I'm cleaning all the gunk and goop off. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, not the clamp, but the hanger, and uh, see if I want to reuse the, that. And this is what I'm using. It's tar and gum remover, but it's really acetone. And here's some old um, exhaust pipe wrap I had left over from another project that I'm going to use to remake these sort of hanger um, cushions that I think is a good idea, but have deteriorated. So I'm going to redo those. So this hanger has been soaking pretty good I can get off the major part of the gunk here and I'll put it on the wheel over there a wire wheel and get the rest of the stuff off and then I'll see how that how nice that is this is original off the car so there's no reason not to reuse this this is very nice I'll put the others up for spares and then uh, now this is really coming off I got the majority of the stuff off we have this. Oh yeah, see here's the bottom part of that central hanger. And then the rest of this I can get off in the wire wheel. I'll spray it with some uh, rust inhibitor. Although, I don't see any rust on this, it's just gunk. Probably don't need to spray it. Set it over here. Here's a nut. This is a nice little spacer. At first I thought it was rubber, but it's not. It's metal. The kit doesn't have a spacer in it. I guess I can't reproduce it exactly. I'll hit that in the wire wheel. Ah, and oh, look at that lock washer. It just fell apart. That's one reason why you shouldn't reuse lock washers, I suppose. Look at that. Okay.
Okay, here's that middle hanger um, that I came off the car and I cleaned up. And I and here's the rear hanger. This rear hanger, I didn't realize this, was actually part of the exhaust. And look, it's bent. Look at next to this one. I put it against a straight line here. And you can see this one's bent. So I'll just straighten this and put it up in, in my scrap bin where I use a lot of different things. I'm no mechanic. I'm just learning as I go. Okay, here's the old hanger cleaned up and painted with the rust inhibitor. Here's another one. I've also cut a new asbestos, kind of a, not really asbestos, but this muffler um, exhaust wrap. And I'm just going to add it to that. I'm not going to. Well, looky it. here. You can see, of course, you saw it earlier, the downpipes are in. And I have this center hanger installed. With the new pipes clamped on here going out to the resonator and now i've got all this kind of walk back here you can see this propped up getting ready to install the muffler back here um, and so we'll go over here here's the, the muffler thing. goes in the back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flare out this, this cut in here on the stainless steel. And I'm going to see if that's going to make it easier uh, to install. Let me find one that fits really good and I'll just give it a tap and flare it out just a little bit. So I've got it up against this post to cushion the blow sound. And then I'm going to put this right here, without tapping it. Do it like this. Oh, yeah. Open it up some. Make it a little bit easier for me to deal with. Put the clamps on and get it up there a little bit, a little bit closer. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, well, yeah, see this can this has adjust this can be adjusted this right here can be adjusted to move forward so I'll do that see how far we get with that probably a 13 millimeter yep Oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks great. So we'll tighten that up. Uh, looks straight across, pretty much. This one too, but let's make sure it's tight. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'll show you. Come over here. I'm gonna have to do some adjustments on this thing uh, to get it away from the heat shield and then hang it. But we'll go ahead and hang it and then I'll 
mess around with the adjustments, put the clamps here. Yeah. So we'll see what happens next. Well, it's up and installed. Nice distance between the heat shield, muffler, and the gasoline tank. This right here was fitting really tight. So it was banging against this holder here. So I put another spacer in here, a rubber spacer. And you can see there's no rattles anywhere. Fits good over here on this side. This part right here was adjustable, so that really helped. And this way, bang on the system. No rattles. I bent this bracket down, I bent it up a little bit because the spring was hitting against the pipe, so that's out of the way. Here it is down here. Put this exhaust pipe wrap on that to give it a little more cushion. And all the way up to the headers. Okay. What's left to do, of course, is to install the beautiful chrome tips on the end. Here's here. one of them right here. You can see the cutout. And that cutout is so it can fit like so on the new system. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll try to take off those old ones and clean them up and save them. Okay, well here's one end sticking out, and I'm getting ready to put the, uh, the brand new tip on here. And you see I put a little bit of this Molly Copa slip on here. That'll make it easier to get on, and if I ever need to take them off, easy to get off. And I have these little slots cut in here uh, for these welded things here. And you can see inside, they're right at the very edge, there's these things that seem, seem, seem to expand or at least smash against the side there, which lock it in place. So I'm going to put it on here. Let's do that. Tap it on. I can see those things smashing in. That's on. Let's get the other one. If you remember, they're right from Mercedes Benz. And we'll put them on. Come wrapped really nicely. Tissue paper and everything. Hate to get them dirty. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, get this started. Just like we did the last one. Spread that grease around. There we go, and I can side it down there. All right. Ah, beautiful. Just beautiful. Nice finishing touch, I believe. Yes, I'm very happy with that.